Things that can make you lose the blessings of God in your life. What are the things that will make you lose your blessings? 1. Sin You should know this would be the number one factor. Sin will take you away from the shield of God and open you to the dangers of the world. When you start doing things that are not right, things that are opposite to the Word of God, you are no longer safe. Sin causes a division between you and God. Not only that, but it also causes division among the people of God. The Bible stated that sin is deceitful in Hebrews 3.13. But encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Time and time again in the Bible, we see God warning us against sin and its dangers. He does this not for Himself, but for us. Whether you sin or not, God is still God. God warns us because He knows the effects and consequences of sin, and He does not want you to suffer those consequences. We all have to face the consequences of the sins of Adam and Eve, and that is why we live in this fallen world. But there are people who are currently facing the consequences of their own sin right now. Sin will make your life difficult. Why are you signing yourself up for a hard life? Why? Proverbs 13, 15 Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. The way of transgressors is hard. There are a lot of warnings in the Bible about sinning. It is dangerous, it is deceptive, and it is deadly. Sin is a poison to the soul. Why would you see poison and then decide to take it? Why don't you go for life instead? Why do you think John the Baptist spent his life shouting in the wilderness about sin? Matthew 3, 1 and 2. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judah and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Why do you think Jesus himself came down and started shouting, telling the people to stop sinning? Matthew 4:17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent. As if that's not enough, different ministers of God keep preaching about sin letting people know that it is deadly to sin, letting them know the consequences of sin, telling them how sin can make them lose the blessing God has given them. The rate at which people lose out of getting blessed by God these days is alarming. 2. Ignorance Like people always say, ignorance is a disease. One of the worst sayings I have ever heard is, what you don't know can't hurt you. This is a lie, straight from the gates of hell. Ignorance is not a good thing. It destroys lives. When you are ignorant of some things, you will do the wrong thing that will make your blessing to be snatched away. Ignorance will also make you fall into sin. Some people think once they are smart, they are not ignorant. To be wise doesn't make you not ignorant. Ignorant is not a lack of wisdom. It is a lack of knowledge and experience. If you don't know something, it doesn't matter how smart you are. You will remain ignorant of that thing. Samson was smart and powerful, but ignorance killed him. He did not know the woman he was falling in love with. There are things we shouldn't be ignorant of. The first is Satan. You must not be ignorant of the device of the devil. The apostles in the Bible did the same so they can boldly say they know his ways and for this reason. Satan can't take advantage of them. 2 Corinthians 2.11 Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We should also do the same thing because Satan himself doesn't rest. He is always on the move, looking for whom to devour and snatch the blessing. You see churches that don't preach about Satan or spiritual warfare. 
That is a watered-down gospel. Avoiding the topic of Satan does not make him less real. In the letters of Jesus to the seven churches, he mentions Satan directly at least five times. The Bible has been given to us to know his tricks and tactics. Don't walk into battle without studying your enemy or even acknowledging his existence. The second is the Word of God. The Word of God is a great weapon. If you see any soldier on the battlefield that doesn't know the weapon he is using, be sure that the soldier will not last. This life is like a battlefield. We need the weapon to fight, and that is the Word of God. Hebrews 4.12 For the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Just get hold of the weapon. James 4.7 Submit yourselves, then, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The last is the blessings you are carrying. You see, some stones don't look attractive, but yet they are worth millions of dollars. That thing in your life that you think can't take you anywhere, look into it very well. Have the full knowledge of it. Use it, and it will get you somewhere. Check the lives of people that used the same gift they have, or similar gift they have, how they utilized it and made them valuable. Many blessings have been lost due to ignorance. Some just carry it, and they don't know the value, so they expose it only for it to be snatched. 3. Fear Fear in your life will make you yield to anything. You are afraid of Satan. You are afraid of using the gifts you have. You are afraid of what people will say. You are just afraid of everything. You are afraid of taking a leap of faith. You are afraid of trying new things. What if the blessing God has for you requires you to do something new, but you don't want to do it because you are afraid? Fear will steal years from your life. What do you think you can achieve with fear? The servant with one talent lost it to the one with ten because he was afraid to use it right. Matthew 25, 25 So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. If you continue to allow fear in you, you will not achieve anything. That's the plain truth. Remember that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7 For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. In my personal experience, the majority, if not all of the blessings God has done for me in my life, require me doing something new. Do something new. Stop staying in your safety zone and go out and stand on your faith in God. To be afraid is not part of the gifts the Spirit of God shares. Don't let anyone deceive you that you can't overcome it. If you still find it hard to stand strong, then you need to take the Word of God and find courage in it. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. How to avoid losing your blessings 1. Abstain from sin Temptations will come. You would be faced with temptations. You know that it is a temptation, but you just can't help it. God has the power to help you overcome temptations that can make you sin. God has the power. If you ask Him for the Holy Spirit, He will give to you. When the Holy Spirit comes, power follows. Acts 1, 8a But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. One thing that hinders the Holy Spirit from coming to a life is a sin. God hates sin, and that He cannot behold it. Habakkuk 1, 13 
Your eyes are too pure to look on evil. When we do contrary to the word of God, we disobey, and that's a sin. Our obedience alone will make the Spirit of God descend on us, and it makes the Spirit work in every area of our lives. Staying away from sin makes us grow more in the Spirit, and that is when we will begin to show forth the fruit of the Spirit. Acts 2, 38. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repentance is an automatic way of getting the Holy Spirit. It opens you to the new world, the world of Christ, where you will be led by the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 5.17 2. Be courageous. Joshua found encouragement in God. You can do the same thing. God told Joshua not to be afraid in Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. There are different verses and chapters of the Bible that talk about how God Himself is telling His people not to be afraid. God wants us to throw away our fears and focus on Him. Most of the things we are afraid of are physical things. Fear does nothing well. It builds negative thoughts in us. We are afraid of people or afraid of facing challenges. But God wants us to be courageous in Christ our rock. Joshua 1, 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. God has told us never to be afraid. We should have courage. We Christians have the heart of Christ, and Jesus never had fear of anything, but instead He was strong. God has not given us the power of fear, but of strong courage. We should ask God to help us overcome fear today.